All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Our final lesson of the unit. Let's go ahead and open to page nine, please. Let's go ahead. Let's get our get our phones put away. Let's check out page nine. We're just gonna do a little quick. We're just gonna do a quick little mini lesson. We're just gonna do a quick little mini lesson, and then we're just going to do some practice problems and call it a day. All right, so on page nine, on page nine, at the very top, it says solving inequalities is easy. Just remember the steps to solving an equation. So we're going to recall those equation solving steps. We've been doing a lot of one step inequalities. But what happens if we have more than one step? We have to try to recall what we're going to do first. Now, we're just going to, I know with solving equations, we did ones that had four and five steps to them. We're not going to go that far with these, OK? We spent a lot of time solving those equations. We're not going to spend as much time on the inequalities. We're just going to go with two steps. We're going to go with two steps, and that's all the more we're going to go with the inequality piece. So step number one, always for us, we always talked about locating the variable. Locate the variable. So where is it at? What variable do we have? So we should be on page number nine. Should have the first step written down in our box. So we just locate the variable. Where is it at? What one are we working with? Locate the variable is what we're going for. What's up, Sam? Because I just, I just want to set the answer. Oh, OK. We're going to locate the variable. Where is it at? Find it. And remember, we want to leave the variable alone. We want to clear everything off that side with the variable. So we're going to locate the variable. After we find the variable, what do we want to take care of first? Are we going to take care of the multiplying and dividing first? Or are we going to take care of adding and subtracting first? I think we got to take care of the adding and We got to take care of the adding and subtracting. So we're going to do undo. Undo addition or subtraction, whatever happens to be there. And if you want to abbreviate, if you want to undo, add, subtract, that's OK. You kind of want to shortcut things. So locate our variable, undo any addition or subtraction. And then undo multiplication or division. Or you can put mult. Yep, you could put mult, you could put div. If you want to abbreviate, that's OK. So when we solved equations, this is what we had to do. Now, over though in the box next to it, I really want to make sure, and a lot of you did a good job with this on the practice that we just did from last time. I want to make sure we talk about, again, that weird rule that we saw yesterday. We did that little discovery activity, and you guys saw for yourselves, if we multiplied or divide by a negative, it gave us a false inequality. You guys saw it. Adding or subtracting didn't give us any falses. Multiplying or dividing by a positive didn't give us any falses yesterday. But multiplying or dividing by a negative did. So if you multiply or divide by a, and I'm going to emphasize this, by a negative flip the inequality symbol. Now, we are going to do just a couple examples together using these steps. But when you guys get on your own to do the practice, there's nothing wrong with having these notes out in front of you, especially that weird rule piece. 
Because that's something that takes getting used to. I know everybody sitting in this room can solve a two-step equation. So I know everybody sitting in this room can solve a two-step inequality. I know that. You guys are all really good at that. So the thing that's going to trip us up is that weird rule. And we saw it. It's not just Miss Golly or Mr. Andrews is telling me, hey, I've got to do this thing. You guys saw it yesterday. You saw it in our activity. When you multiplied or divided by negative, you saw we had to flip it. Otherwise, our answer was false. We don't want a false answer. We want a true one. All right, so I just want to do a couple together, then we'll get you guys some time to practice. All right, so let's do our first one. It says locate the variable. There's our T right there. It says we have to undo addition or subtraction first. Now, I chose this one on purpose because it was the type of two-step that I saw the most mistakes on when we took our test over equations. I know we see addition there, but do we want to subtract the 4t? I don't want to move the 4t. I want to leave the t where it is. So what's my first move going to be? Sam, what do you think? You got to subtract it, sir. What are we going to subtract, though? I don't want to move the 4t. What do we want to move, guys? The 9. I want to move the 9. Right now, guys, the 9 is positive, so to move that 9... We're going to subtract it. On each side. On each side, that's right. Oh. Positive 9, negative 9 gives me a 0. 4t is greater than, what do we get there, 12. So I know, again, guys, I chose this one very, very intentionally for us because this was the type of two-step if any of you made mistakes on the test, this was the type of two-step we made the mistake on. Because there's not just a straightforward, do I add or subtract? I have to think about the opposite of that positive nine. All right, how do I finish this? Divide, Divide by? Four. Four. And OK, now, <laughs> careful. Our weird rule, I'm going up to the top right box, it said that weird rule we talked about, multiply or divide is part of that rule, but did we divide by negative? No. no. So do we flip? No. no. Okay, so we've got a greater than still. When you make your number line, you guys, I gave you each a copy of a number line yesterday. It goes from negative 10 to positive 10. If you need that to help you out, I know sometimes we get an answer bigger than positive 10 or smaller than negative 10, but just that general idea is there if you need help with the number lines. Yep, we don't have a line under our gator mouth, so we're going to have an open circle. Now, what's a value that's going to work there? Which way are we going to shade? Which way do you guys think? To the? Okay, we're thinking to the right. I see 4 to the right, so I'm going to put 4 in there. Is 4 greater than 3? Is that true? That works, so I'm going to shade the side with 4. I'm going to shade the side with 4. I just want to do one more together. I'm going to get you guys some time to practice. In the second one, in the second one, we've got locate the variable. There's my A right there. It says to undo addition or subtraction. I see subtraction. So to undo subtraction, we're going to add. Negative 7, positive 7, that gives me the 0 I need. I have negative 6a, I have is less than or equal, and I have 24. So we undid our subtraction. Now, to finish off, we're going to divide again. Now, 
in the first question, we divided by 4, and we said, nope, we're not going to flip. Now, in the second question, we're dividing by negative 6. Yes, but we're going to flip. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip. Divide by a negative equals flip. Dividing by a negative equals flip. So one of the reasons I chose this question is so we could revisit that idea of flipping. I know some of us on the practice from yesterday, we had no problems with it. Some of us, we still are taking some time to try to remember that rule. And it's a new thing. It is. If you've never worked with inequalities before, that's new. Now, the other reason I chose this example is because now when I go to graph, it's involving negatives. Any of us right now that are still struggling a little bit with the graphing, it's because of the negative. So if you need to, remember, I gave you each a number line yesterday. Maybe you hung on to it. Maybe you just recycled it. Maybe it's lost somewhere. If you need another one, let me know. But if I look on my number line, I see that negative 3 is over here to the right, and negative 5 is to the left. And remember, guys, as you move left on the number line, those numbers are getting smaller. I know 5 looks bigger than 4, but if there's a negative sign in front of it, it's actually smaller. We have a closed circle because we have the equal to. And now I need a number that's greater than negative 4. What's going to work, Sam? We're going to go with negative. Remember, as we go right on the number line, things get bigger. As you move to the right on the number line, things get bigger. So if I'm looking at negative numbers, if I have negative 5 and negative 3, I know 5 is bigger than 3, but as soon as we put the negative in front, now it's smaller. Now it's smaller. We aren't going to do the multi-step multi ones at the bottom. I put those on there. I didn't know how much time we'd have, but we're kind of running out of time in our trimester a little bit here. So we are not going to do the multiple-step ones. So we're going to just pause at the two-step.